I just got back from caving just then, as you can tell by my totally not spawned in items here, and my lack of pickaxe because it's at the dry cleaners, and I just really want some place in this crudely made house that's floating in the sky, where I can drop all these items off, and it'll automatically smelt it for me. And, oh, that, that would just be swell, and you know what else would be swell? If you couldn't tell I was acting, that would also be swell, but I just really want somewhere I can drop all these items off and it'll smelt it for me. Ah, oh, that would just be amazing. <gasps> What's that? It's a conveniently placed Dolly Automatic Furnace! Whoa, that's that's just amazing. I, I did not know that this fully automatic, do I mean Dolly Automatic Furnace, was here. Whoa! I'm, I wonder if it actually works. Let me try it out. It appears as if it's doing something. I'm just going to wait here for about 30 hours and see what it does. Whoa, it actually works. Hey everyone, my name is Streampan, and in this video I'm going to be showing you my fully automatic furnace that works half the time, but we'll get into that later. So, to show you it, basically I'm just going to guide you through what it does, and how it does it, and how it messes up half the time. So, to do that, I have to actually show you the thing first, so if I come out the door, you can see how incredibly large it is, and how this would not work in survival at all, and how insane this is just to get something to go in a furnace in the correct order and whatnot. Uh, something in Feed the Beast is just extraordinarily easy using pipes, but with Minecraft, vanilla is just really hard. So, what it does is basically you come to this chest here, you put your ores in. Right now, it only works with iron uh, and coal. Iron and coal. So, it worked with gold, it, well I shouldn't say it worked with gold, it was going to work with gold, but I got lazy and decided against it, because it was going to be more larger and take a lot more time to make it, and I'm lazy, uh, so it doesn't work with gold anymore, but basically you would put your iron in and your coal in, you can only put eight iron in, I guess you could put more in, but it clogs up the system, so eight stacks of iron, I should say, not eight of them, and one or two stacks of coal, because, well, we'll get into that, it should only use one stack, but it has to actually use more. Because of the item sorting here, uh, basically, it will take everything in the chest and sort it out into either nothing, or not nothing, but what isn't iron, what is iron, and what is coal. So, the first thing is coal here, it'll sort out what's coal. It works half the time on coal, I really don't know why. Well, not half the time, it works a bit more than that, but basically some of the coal doesn't get sucked in for some reason. I, well, it's probably because of the water current, but whatever. So, that's why you need more than a stack. So, basically it'll just take the coal, the coal will come down here, be dispensed out, and put into this minecart here, and it'll load into that and just wait until further instruction. And the iron will come over here, get sorted down, the dispensed out into this minecart, and this minecart will go as soon as everything's sorted. Uh, there's also other items sorted, so if you didn't put coal or iron in, it will just take the items and put it back in the chest at the end of the whole thing here. I don't really know what to say about it, but basically it will put it in a chest so you don't lose it, I guess. But once it's got the iron in and it's all sorted out, the minecart chest here will then start to move and it will go to the first topper here, which is above a furnace. So the iron will be placed into the furnace and it's on a timer, see? So, the minecart mine chest will be here for a set amount of time, just enough to put a full stack of iron in, and it'll be pushed, and it'll go along this minecart track until the next hopper, well, where it will do the exact same thing, it'll just wait until it's got 64, and it'll push again, and it'll keep doing that 
until it gets up to here, which is where if it's got extra iron or just extra items for some odd reason, it will wait for the same time as the other one, so a full stack, and it'll put it in this dispenser, which will dispense it off into the chest at the end. So if you put nine stacks of iron in, you don't lose a stack. But if you put ten in, you'll probably lose a stack and it'll clog up the system. Basically anything can clog up the system because it's so unstable. I shouldn't say unstable, it's so unreliable and horrible. But it works, sort of. So after it's taken out all the items of the minecart, the minecart will trigger these detector rails here, which basically just reset the timer, so it turns the timer off, and then it starts the timer for the other minecart over there. I'll get into that later, but basically the iron minecart will come along this minecart track and go back to where it was before. Now what I was talking about before with the detector rails was it will start the timer for this minecart over here with the coal. So the minecart will start, it will basically do the exact same thing as the other minecart. It will go to the first hopper, wait until it can put eight coal into it, and then it will go to the next hopper, and the next hopper, and the next hopper, and then it will just go back over here where it will dispense eight coal because it's I was too lazy to make it dispense anymore um, if you put extra in and so basically the coal is going to always be clogged up because I'm lazy and I couldn't be bothered fixing it. Uh, it can be fixed not so much the clogging oh well, I guess the clogging could be fixed but there's something else that can be fixed I'll talk about later but I'm lazy and it'll make it way more bigger than it actually is. Oh I also forgot to mention that the redstone can be more compact but laziness so the minecart with the coal, well, he used to have the coal, will trigger the detector rail which will reset the timer and it will come all the way back to the start where it was before, just like that minecart, and stay there. Except with this one, it often moves like that. Hang on, that didn't work out. It will often move on a slight angle, hang on, somewhat, you can't really see it, but a slight angle where this hopper can't put any items in it and it renders it useless, and you have to come here and push it back or get a new minecart. It's horrible. That's what we have to do with hoppers. Um, there was something else I was going to talk about. Oh, yeah! These furnaces. So, once the iron is cooked, it will notice it and dispense the iron ingots into this water stream here, or water streams, and all this iron will come over to this chest over here, all well, these hoppers that go into a chest, and if I come down here, you can see all the iron we've got. Now, you, the system's horrible because you also need a ton of iron ingots to begin with. So, like I said, it's not going to be used in survival. Um, there was something else I was going to talk about. It was the fact that these furnaces often do that, see, because of the unreliability of minecarts, because they will often dispense more, one more or one less than a stack or eight coal. So you end up with stuff like this. So there's two coal down here, and there was obviously a stack of iron, and there's just been two more coal than eight down here. So what that means, you may be like, that's cool, like, you know, just got some extra coal in there, you know, no big deal. But the thing about hoppers is, the iron won't dispense from the furnace unless there's nothing else but the iron there, which is really annoying. So, as you can see, nothing's being dispensed out, but as soon as I take the coal out, you can see it being dispensed out, which is really annoying. Now, that means that half the time, well not half the time, but a lot of the time, these furnaces will get clogged up and you have to automatic, not automatically, but you have to manually go through them and unclog them. So, what I'm trying to get out is hoppers need to be improved. Or they could just add pipes to the game. That's what I'm trying to say. Now I know they're a work in progress, but really, just to get this all into a furnace is ridiculous. That's when you can do something very, very simple with pipes. 
So anyway, that's enough rambling. I should stop now. So basically, what I'm trying to get out with this video is that hoppers need to be improved in the um, area of furnaces. So basically, you know, maybe if he's an idea, you chuck ore into there. Wait, let me get some ore out. Or coal, for example, that it will automatically go to the right slot instead of, you know, you chucking coal first and then your iron and that didn't chuck out. Let me try it again. So if you're chucking out your coal first and then your, maybe your iron, that it will automatically, how oh, great, my Minecraft just, so if you're chucking in your coal first and then your iron, that will automatically know not to put the coal at the top and instead at the bottom or something like that. And maybe if you put a hopper down the bottom, that it won't take those items from those two slots. It's just a suggestion. I don't know, call me crazy. So, I really don't know how to do outros. So instead of doing an outro, let's mine a suspiciously looking dirt block up here. Oh no, I totally didn't realize there was going to be falling anvils when I did that. What an inconvenient surprise.